myself all cozy here. So hello, hello. Welcome to Tammy Loves Vintage. And Tammy's not the only one that loves vintage. My friend Patricia Clayton loves it too. And she loves to share with me. So from time to time, Patricia will send me a box of goodies. And this time she said she was sending me some goodies and a project to do that she never got to. So I'm like, well, what is it? And she's like, oh, you'll see. So I got everything and I, <laughs> And I, I, I had so many ideas and I thought, okay, I'm going to go live and show you guys what all she sent me. Um, I'm not sure which project because there are so many. My, my mind is, yeah, is going crazy. And I thought, you know what? Everything I pick up, I'm like, oh, I know what I would do with this. I know what I would do with that. So um, anyway, I, <laughs> so I thought this will be a, a silly video, but great for those of you that kind of um, are, are thinking like me. God bless your soul. <laughs> it's rough to be me, but you know, I, I so many of you like to do that. So let's just let's just put on our uh, thinking process here. Send me your ideas, comment, let me know what you guys think when you see these things too. So um, first off, she she must have decided she didn't want to do resin, but she sent me a kit to do resin, um, the clear epoxy resin. So that'll be fun. I have a kit myself. I've never, I've always been afraid to do it. However, I have seen so many people on YouTube and um, Facebook and I first started seeing it with all the paint pours and then they would resin it out and stuff. So, um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited to, to resin something. Um, so that's definitely, uh, I have so many things planned. <laughs> so it's just finding the time to do it. So you guys know I've been busy on Facebook and, and if you're not Facebook so much as I meant to say YouTube, Pinterest and TikTok. Um, and then of course I've been sharing it over to Instagram, but all of the platforms are different than here. And so I've kind of been having fun hitting those other platforms hard. Um, it's Tammy Loves Vintage on all of them. So if you haven't been, oh, thank you for the stars, Dee Dee. I haven't even got started. Uh, but yeah, so um, I've been busy over there. So if you're not over there, uh, YouTube, I just got a notification last night, like a big congratulations. I hit 5,000 hours of viewing. So you guys or your friends or whoever has been watching 5,000 hours of my videos over there. Um, so that's exciting too. Everything's exciting. So, okay. Patricia sent me epoxy, an epoxy kit. And then my belt died when I opened this. This is all, um, uh, gold leaf and copper leaf. So, um, I, I can't, she hasn't even, I don't even think she's opened them yet. I don't know how she could part with the gold leaf and the copper leaf, but I was like, oh, oh, like look at all of the pieces. Now, usually I get sheets and then I keep my scrap pieces that are left from the sheets. Um, um, you know, like when you're, when you're adhering, like pretend I'm going to gold leaf this box. So I'll lay, I'll, I'll sticky it up. I'll lay my gold sheet on and then all of the little flakes, you know, you're supposed to keep them and that's what these are. So that's really exciting. So Patricia shared with me the epoxy resin and the, the gold leaf and the copper leaf. So yay. And then, um, there was a lot of vintage things. So in, in her, she knows that I have my Bible tree. It has the gold edge. It's a tiny pocket Bible and it's just beautiful. It is in perfect condition and the pages are nice and yellowed. Um, so, you know, again, this is something that you could lay open. You could leave it lay open and even stack it on top of other books. Like you could open a bigger book and leave this open on top or you could just do this on its own. And you guys know how I do, like, that's like almost like my doily, you would say, you know, my, um, my, instead of a doily, just to be different, just to be, oh, look, even the little bookmarkers still in there. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so I'm looking to see what I could use. So, so this is an old Avon jar. I'll show you that in a minute, but I was just trying to see if I have anything here in her stuff. Um, like, okay, so let's just say, let's just say, and maybe put a little candle in this or something like that, but this could totally be like on a table, maybe with a little bit of greenery, maybe use this as the base and do a little, like one of those little ferns like I do with the doorknobs, maybe do something like that. And it's a total little, 
uh, vignette. So that's what I'm trying to get you guys to think like when I see it. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, Vicki. I'm not ignoring you. I just I just did a lot of talking there in the beginning. So hi, Patricia. Yes, thank you. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you're here. Um, yes, Marilyn, I'm excited to show you guys what all I'm thinking. And yes, Jana Brasher from the Black Farmhouse. I think it's pretty awesome. So my first thought was, oh, I could add it to my Bible stack, but it's not black. So all of my Bibles are black. Um, so then I'm thinking, okay, and then again, of course, I had the leave it lay open idea. And then I'm looking at, she sent this card that someone, it's all sealed up. I'm not going to unseal it, but someone has pressed dried flowers into this card that she purchased. So I'm thinking, okay, that which made my brain think like a Mod Podge project and cover it in colors that would go with my Bible, but I don't want to hurt it because it's in such good condition. So I think, but that was an idea. So um, I think though I'm going to go back to laying it open in my decor like this and laying whatever. I mean, she's got some keys here um, that, you know, I could just tie a little bow, tie a little seam binding bow on this and lay and just lay a key. Or I could do like a, like a set of keys. Let's see, there was one on a ring here. Let me see if I can find it right here. I could do just like ring, like do the ring with a ribbon on it and lay it there for decor. I mean, it's so, you guys, it's so easy. Hi, Rena, you're brand new. Oh my goodness. Well, welcome to my page. This is just a video where I did an unboxing this morning. I should have unboxed it with you guys, but you know, you never know. <laughs> You never know. So I, I did it and then I was just like in awe and taking it all in and my, my mind was going. So I thought, well, I'm just going to go live and, and let's just think together. So um, give me your ideas on your thoughts for what to do with the Bible. Tell me if you have uh, anyone you follow that does the resin, put their name in here. I'd love to share that with everyone. So, okay, next up. Oh, next up, this little box of glitter. No. I don't know why she couldn't do Patricia. Why can't you use this glitter? It's pretty, pretty colors. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking like the red and the silver and the black and the white, like Christmas. Look at the green. Look at these two for Christmas. We've got just every day, the black and the silver and the white, like the yellow would just add just a pop of glitter, maybe to like, um, like all three of these I'm thinking for the vintage postcards that I do, maybe just add just a tiny little, oh, this is, isn't, is it yellow or gold? Actually, I think it's gold now that I look at it. Oh, even better, even better. It's gold. Uh, but I don't know, maybe she's used them. I'm not sure. But anyway, when you open this up, it's just little tiny containers of glitter. So that's awesome. Definitely can use that. Definitely. So, okay. Um, next up, she sent two bells. Again, these are just great to just tuck in. I'm probably going to put these in my Christmas craft box and you'll see me pull these out in the future. Um, but I mean, you can do like, you can add bells to anything. It's got the little hanger there on the back. So these are just easy to, um, um, okay, I see you're telling me it's something to do with resin. So thank you guys for the ideas. Uh, but the bells, um, you have a whole box pack. I definitely would probably add them. In my mind, my first thought was in an arrangement, um, like, you know, the deer, the wooden deer cutouts that um, I sold to you guys, all the little sets for what, five or six dollars. Um, on that platform of the wooden deer put in your greenery and then just tucking a bell in here and there maybe even kind of like that together and maybe a big wad of of ribbon behind i just think you could do there's just so many ideas whether you hang them um i mean even even my lace tassels and to hang a bell out of the lace tassels it's borderline big but if you know like like well you know my big tassel i could put it in that easily it would get mixed right in okay then she sent just this little keyhole um little keyhole thing which would go great on my books on my bottles it, it just anywhere or even just laying on the bible it could be um it's got a little hanger hole here i could easily tack it into one of our vintage uh, antique collages that we do like so many ideas for this so even if like you might find something like this in a parking lot all the time i find 
uh, beat up washers and stuff. I always pick them up. People probably think I'm picking up pennies, but I'm really picking up old rusty things. <laughs> because I'm, yeah, I'm not proud. I'll pick it up. Um, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I could be such a scavenger in a parking lot. You can find all kinds of good things. And the rain has just rusted them out so nice. So then she sent all of these little gear things, which are bigger than the gears that I have. So that's pretty cool. The gears that I have, I've put in the little test tubes with the bows. Um, you got, A lot of you bought them in my last live sale. <coughs> and there's some on my website too, but not this big. They're even smaller than this one. Like they're little, they're watch gears. These, I'm not sure what they are. Oh, and this one has numbers on it. Look at that, it's cool. So again, perfect for the bottles to do just two or three of them um, to add in with the lace and stuff. So, oh my gosh, really cool. Love, 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 love. And then this, I don't even know what this is, but look how pretty and it's, I don't know. And I don't have an idea off the top of my head for it. Uh, I'm trying to see what it even, if it is something, it looks like, oh, it is, it's a horse. I kept thinking a horse. It's a horse with a rider on it. It looks like maybe, oh no, that's his tail. I was gonna say he played hockey. That's a horse's tail. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me, can you make it out? Uh, let me see if I can focus it <laughs> let me let me see uh where's his tail okay here's his tail back here and here's his head up here and then there's mountains it looks like mountains behind him let me give you one more glance but yeah i i'm blank on this one i can't think of anything but i love it and i will think of something i just don't have anything off the top of my head the only thing, when I first saw it, I thought I could take a dress pattern, you know, the pattern forms, and cut squares, you know, maybe like this big squares, um, and then gather them at the bottom and leave the tops pointy like a flower, and then stuff the bottom of it in here and make a little poof with the dress pattern. That was what I was thinking, um, because it's too small really for a flower arrangement, I think. Um, even, I mean, unless you did a teeny tiny one, but I think the dress pattern thing would be really cute. So that's probably what I would do with this at this point. I'll have to think on it a little bit more. Uh, and then she sent this, um, it looks like an old button. Uh, it doesn't say, oh, it is an old button. It doesn't say anything. Uh, but it's just pretty and then it has it like slides onto an I, uh, Does this go over a button like to dress up? I don't have a button on um, To dress up a button is that I think that I'm not sure but I think that's what you do with these you guys tell me what you think um, You guys tell me what you think and I'll look at all your comments later But I appreciate you commenting Melinda saying I was thinking how you put in the little trees yeah, I could totally do that. Like at Christmas time, it would be a great base for two or th well, probably just two little brush, bottle brush trees and just cover the hole completely. Yep, totally could. It is a button cover. That's what I thought. Melinda said it was a button cover. That's what I thought. I've never seen them in action, as Susan says and Jackie. Okay, that's what I thought, you guys. So next up, let's, look, let's talk about this little Avon jar. Um, I know it because it says Avon. Well, it's backwards for you guys, but... Anyway, look how pretty, like look at the pretty lid and it's pretty like all the way around and then the jar itself is all like stenciled in gold. Um, peach, peach isn't really my color so I would probably do something with the lid, you know, use the lid in one of my collages um, or I could hook it to the front of a bottle maybe or use it as a bottle top. However, the bottle top, if I did a bottle top, I'd have to sit something on it. Um, yeah, this is, you know, this is really all, I've, and it's too big, but I would set something, probably a little knob from a cabinet or something like that. Um, oh, an air plant, that would be super cute for this. Great idea, I love it. Yes, Rachel, great idea. Um, but yeah, I, so I just saw the lid, but then when I was really looking, I thought, oh, it's pretty pretty together. So it could just be, again, something really pretty to set on your Bible. 
with your little keys and do a peach colored bow to pull it all together and put it in a bathroom or a nightstand or something like that. I think it would be super cute like that. So, okay, there's that. All right, Patricia, I can't believe you gave this stuff up. I'm just like, oh, I'm so excited. So this is the kind of thing you might find in a parking lot easily or in your dad's uh, garage or your grandpa's garage if you're lucky enough to have that. Now this one's bent. Let me see if I can bend it. I might not be able to. Uh, but I actually could cut this bend. I could leave it like this or I could cut it at the bend and have a little one and a medium one and then a big one. But she sent me two rusty springs. Totally could hang these totally in a, um, in a tassel. So this would look awesome. You, and I don't, I have some new people probably here. Let me just grab this one. I have tassels all over the place, but this one's easy to grab. So when I say put it in a tassel, like this is, this is one of my tassels that I made forever ago. And I hung, I knew I was keeping it. So I hung all kinds of, you know, rosary beads and there's a bracelet and then there was this, I found this at an antique show and I don't know what it was to, but I knew I wanted to do something with it. And then one of the numbered um, tags, I think these are from laundry service. Um, but anyway, so there is a tassel. So when I say like you could put a bell in it, this one's big for this tassel, but let's get, let's grab, I'm just going to grab this, but I got to take my, hang on. It, I've got it hooked to my breadboard, so I got to take my, I gotta take it off the bread. Well, I don't really, I can just show you here like this. So this is like my biggest tassel I ever made. This is a float from a, a nautical float. And then I added, um, in this one I added some rhinestones just for a little splash of color. And they're not old, um, but they had that goldish sort of feel to them. So I really, I don't know, I bought a whole thing of this stuff and I, I don't know, so I stuck that in there, and then I, there's a couple other things in here. Oh yeah, here's a key. Um, I stuck a key in here, and then there's a spring. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the back of that other. Okay, and then I put the spring in there. So it's just got stuff, but you like you could. Oh shoot, I got my springs tangled here. You could totally hang a rusty spring in there, even if you hung it low, wherever you wanted to put it. That would be an awesome, that's probably what I would do with that. And then we were talking about the bells. See how I could incorporate a bell in here, like just kind of mix it in and you need a big tassel like this for that. So that's, that was why I was saying that. Let me just, I'll just stick this down here. Okay. And you saw the price. I keep prices on everything in my house because I don't always keep everything. As you well know, I sell it to you guys. But I like to keep it for a while. Like I, I, I keep my, I'm yelling. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Anyway, I'll calm down. Okay. Can we calm a little bit? I get so excited. Um, what was I saying? Wait, I mean, yeah, so I have prices on everything pretty much. Um, and I and I used to, before I was selling stuff, I used to put do codes like so my husband if he'd pick it up, he wouldn't know how much I paid for stuff. And then I had a little ledger book and I'd look up number, you know, B12, and I'd be like, oh, I paid $42 for that, you know, or I'd pay $10. And now I just put the price on it and it doesn't matter. <laughs> and I'm over it. I've been doing this a long time, you guys, years and years and years, so. Okay, you guys caught a glimpse of this a couple different times. I think I held it up. It's flat on the bottom. Again, I see the brush tree in here. I see, you know, maybe two or three of my ferns in here. So many ideas. Um, you could put it this way and use it as a little lift for something um, like, like this. Can you, you can't really see, but like, Something like that, although it, that would probably even go this way for even to be more stable. Um, and then just E6000 or, you know, what is the quick glue or whatever. Um, but I wouldn't hot glue. Hot glue would hold it, but eventually it doesn't really do well with glass. So because you're um, probably going to pick it, <laughs> you're probably going to pick it up to dust. You might not. But that's the only reason you would use it is to pick it up to dust, I would think, or to rearrange it. But that's super, actually, that's super cute together. Patricia, you're going to want all your stuff back by the time I'm done with this. This is why people send me pictures and say, what do I, what do, I do with this? What do you think of that? 
I love when you guys share your stuff. I just, someone just shared me their uh, mantle. It was beautiful. Um, all the things that you make. Oh, let's just take a moment. Let's just take a moment and give you guys kudos for all of the, um, oh, you got your, you got your doorknob, Susan. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I hope all of the greenery is staying in. I don't glue it all in. Sometimes, you know, if I can get it in and it feels pretty tight, I just send it that way so that if you ever want to you know, you're over the greenery, you could just lay the doorknob on its side, you know, pretend that's a doorknob. But instead of doing it this way with the furnace, you could just lay it on its side, put the pretty part out and tuck that handle part back. I used to do that all the time with them. Oh, I'm so glad, Susan. I'm so glad. You know, you wrap it with paper and you stuff it with other things, you know, and then the you've seen the UPS guys just throw, no offense to UPS, but okay, now I'm all over the place and I forget where I was going. <sighs> I was, on, I was on a roll to tell you, so, oh, I know how, how, um, oh yes, tons of videos. Go to YouTube and type in Tassel on my page, Tammy Loves Vintage, or you can go and just scroll through all of the videos. There's almost 600 of them, so, you know, there's a lot of videos to go through um, over there, but, it, but it'll let you search a video so you don't have to scroll and scroll. Um, oh, I just saw my husband pull in. Shoot. But I was like, you guys are so talented. I had no idea there were so many talented people crafters following me uh, the picture I showed you guys my craft space I think it was my craft space or maybe it was the paintbrush the burlap paintbrush jars I don't know but I asked you guys to show me what you were doing and the pictures in there are amazing I'm thinking I need, I need each one of you to take turns guest hosting in my private craft group <laughs> like I really and I mean that if you want to let me know these are things you can find in a parking lot. I'm not saying that's where she found them, but these are like parking lot finds to me um, or grandpa's um, thing. I'll shoot, Randy's home for lunch, so I'm gonna have to cut this short. This is a great tassel topper, Patricia. This is, out of all of this, this is one of my favorite things. Love, love, love. And then um, she sent me one of these, which you guys know I hang them on a board or on the wall to hang something from like a tassel. It's super cute. Instead of just drilling a nail in the wall, like look how cute. So look for things. I just sold a ton of them in my um, uh, last sale. My last sale, I sold a ton of things to hang things from. Um, let's see here. Oh, and then look at this chain. This is really cool. And you could, again, so, okay. So um, does this fit? Oh, it, it might if I really made it, but you could bend this out, hang that from there, and then hang all of the little, all of the little things that you add on, just make them better. So yes, Patricia knows me very well, because when I see this, I'm like, oh, I'm, you know, this is just an extension to hang something from, easy. Or again, something that you could literally hang into your tassel, like I keep holding it up high, but it'll probably fall about there. How cool is that? So, or as a movable thing for on a collage, hi honey, <laughs> I won't be very much longer. On a collage, this would mount, like just mount this directly to just glue it if you're going to fabric like I like to do. Um, and then you could hang a little, a little clock face or a little locket or something off of this. And I would only glue down the hook. I would let all of this stay movable, which makes it interesting when things move. So that's cool. Um, and then she sent these two little drawer pull things. Again, just great embellishments for my collages. I probably have my husband cut this part off if he could to make it lay flatter. Uh, and then the last thing was just all of these. Oh, and I love, look at this. I would leave this together. Again, something else to dangle in a um, um, tassel or a great curtain tie-on. Oh, I forgot about that. These, all these things are great curtain tie-ons. Um, this wouldn't be so much because there's no hole to put it through, so it kind of hang wonky. So I wouldn't use it on mine, but on this one especially, this would be a great, and then I'll show you my, I know so many of you have seen my balances, but I'll show you um, one more time if I remember here before I go. And then just tons of keys. They're not skeleton keys, they're everyday keys, but they're fabulous to work in, even if you have a skeleton key to put with it. Um, but then I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and take all of these off of their 
loops and stuff that she sent me a ton of keys. So I'll probably just put these in my key, you know, I have a drawer. Doesn't everyone have a drawer of keys? I do. <laughs> I do. So, okay, crafting gloves. And then this is probably the project I'm gonna say, and I, I'm thinking it's probably the resin thing. These are molds, but I'm going to clay in my mind. I'm thinking clay molds and pop them out. But I'm wondering if this is the resin molds that what she was talk what she was talking about. But there's little stirs and little spoons and all of these. I don't know what all this is. Some kind of a shape. But I mean, well, they're all shapes. Yeah, a circle, a square, a diamond, a triangle, and an octagon. So, but I don't know what I don't know what they're for. She's gonna have to give me more information. There's gaskets and like a little bowl thing that sits up. So. I know she's thinking resin and then there's these little droppers that I suppose you suck it up in and stick it down in your yes resin okay Susan help, help a girl out you have anybody that's you follow that's done anything like this so you put like there's little hearts and teardrops and diamonds like there's all kinds of shapes in here and it's really like compared to my fingers see how thin it is so I'm thinking you drop the resin in here but I don't know what to do with it and she's she okay Lori you guys help me out give me a link to somebody and then look at these little things I don't know what to do with those so this and she said I'm anxious to see what you do with it. <laughs> I'm sending you a project but I don't I don't know I just I don't I have never messed with this stuff and then these are little um eye little eye hooks little teeny tiny so maybe you're supposed to put the eye hook in this and make little hanging maybe it's a jewelry I, i'm not i'm not really sure so that's everything anyway randy's home for lunch so i gotta go round is a bangle bracelet those were to make earrings oh um, yeah of course that would be a great size for earrings okay all right well patricia's project became mine so i just wanted to share with you guys what she sent me thank you patricia so much i'll have to look up resin earrings and see what i can find but i was thinking clay <laughs> oh i see earrings now because there's where the hole would be like that little stubby thing there's a puzzle piece there's a little rubber thingy and that is for the earrings you're exactly right and then i bet these are like for layering on top of the earrings uh, yep, they all have, this one here has those two. You're right, they're earrings, you guys. So, okay, see, I'm, I come on to teach you and you end up teaching me. What are friends for, right? So, okay, you guys, I'm gonna go, because um, I'm, I'm right here where he has his lunch, so I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. And all of you new girls here, thank you so much. Um, stud, yes, right where this the stud would go. And that makes the hole so cool. Who knows? I might be a jewelry maker after this. <laughs> Have a good day, you guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.